Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and mini tutorial. A number of you had asked, uh, have requested that I do a quick tutorial on how I got to do that quick test that I did uh, using the new meta human from the Epic Games Unreal Engine. Uh, this is very exciting, guys. Um, the day I saw it, I couldn't help but jump in and get started. And uh, I used my iPhone 10 to do that test. So today I'm going to run you real quick through how to link it up. That's if you don't, if you haven't done it already. So guys, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons or patrons from my Patreon account. I appreciate your support. I'm now up to 11. Thank you so much, guys. I'm super pumped to get uh, to do some more tutorials and insights all right so what you do is first you go to the app store and make sure that uh, live link face is installed okay once you have it installed then double click it's a free app and run it so as you can see it's running and my face is on the camera right there and in the settings right under solomon's iphone make sure you tap that and in there is where you put your ip address make sure you add a target and the target is going to have the ip address and that ip address you find it by going to and i'm using windows 10. Uh, i'm recording on the desktop as well so let's see uh, right click on on your network settings open network settings okay then go to ethernet and click on the network that is connected and at the very bottom down there where you see properties if you scroll down that's where you're going to find your ip address and so that ip address is then what you put into when you click on the live link over there and in the target that's the that's where you put the ip address okay so let's close that and guys i mean this is ex extremely exciting and i can't wait i know the early access uh testing is gonna come up at some point but i i pray i get to be part of that so i can share with you the excitement so after you've connected the ip address then you launch this project which is available on the unreal marketplace and once you've installed it it's not going to be very clear where to find you know the the where they to find where to put the phone so what i recommend is that uh in the content folder right over here sorry i should have been over here in the content folder it's double click on sample humans and in the sample humans folder you're gonna find uh where it says common double click on common and then go to face and then what you need to double click on is this face anim bp okay that's the one that you need to double click on and it's going to open this uh window right there it's uh so we what we're looking at is the face anim bp and we're in the event graph okay so here on the right hand side in the in the uh anim preview editor you notice that uh there's a link face subject right there so that will not show up i mean the the target will not show up unless if you've gone to window and enabled live link over here and on live link because the phone is uh, sub, uh it's sending the data it's uh, you will be able to see it right here okay so that's going to be the target it will automatically show up if you have your make sure your your phone your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your desktop. If it isn't, it's not going to work very well. Okay, so that is make sure this is activated. If it's not, you go to click uh, up at the top on source, and then you go to the, it will show up as one of the options for messages, and it will show up and you select that. Okay, make sure you add it as a source for on the live link window. Okay, once that is connected properly. And if you run into a problem, it's, chances are it's going to be because you don't have the correct IP address. 
in there and chances are is that you are not on the same wi-fi uh, network so make sure you check that guys okay all right now i can go in and uh enable solomon's iphone for example for mine and the link face subject and then also enable link face head that's going to make it possible for you to rotate the head and the camera will be able to track it so for example if you go over here let me put it so you can see how as i'm moving my head this head is also moving and as i'm talking you can see the head talking as well okay and let me come back over here so you can actually see both of them so as i'm talking on the phone the character is also talking over there <laughs> in the event graph because i've now linked up on the ll link and the l link face subject and l link face head those are both connected and that's why it's working properly okay once this is working and you can if, if you see it working properly then you know you're ready to get to streaming into the scene itself so simply compile okay make sure this head is selected the link link face head is selected to get the the rotation and now we can minimize that and then in the viewport make sure your character is selected uh, right now i have her selected in the viewport and towards the bottom under the the uh, details panel uh, make sure that uh, ll link face subject is set to your iphone in this case mine is a uh, solomon so sorry about that it's uh right there okay and then also enable the link face head so in the viewport you're not gonna see any movement yet uh, because you may have to play so if you want to use the sample project that comes with the this the scene make sure that's when you you have to uh, change this so what you, what i need to do is add a live link component and select live link skeletal animation okay so now as i'm talking you can see the character in there so guys that's a, a quick tutorial on how to get the live link face to work with the character and that's how i was able to get that character over there done uh, so quickly and you can see as i am talking you can see the model over there moving the lips and the cool thing is that uh, once this character is linked up in this project you can also uh, you can deselect uh, hide that character go to the male character and enable him and over here in the live link face subject and also the live link face head please bear with me for my the hand shakiness i'm trying to do this so i can show both the phone and uh, the desktop so we need to switch this to my iphone okay and also we need to enable the live link face head okay so if i come over here so it has it's not gonna work just yet you need to add that component so we're gonna add a component and we're gonna type in live link and we're gonna select skeletal live link skeletal animation okay so now you can see the head moving and so this is the the key is this face anim right here the blueprint is that as long as this uh, blueprint is working this one over here that's going to drive both characters okay so even though the head looks like uh, it's the female character it's also driving the male character in the viewport and i'm using a, a an rtx 2080 ti for the demonstration um, i have another machine that uses an rtx uh, 2070 because i wanted to do a test on this on this uh, rtx 2080 so you could have 
a sense of what it looks like. So, and now I have dual uh, 2080s TIs in this machine, the one I'm testing on right now. So I don't know if the dual <laughs> is gonna make a big difference. If you have one uh, 2080, uh, you might see a little bit of difference in uh, terms of uh, the responsiveness, but clearly, I mean, you can see how as I'm moving and as I am talking, the character is also talking and the iPhone, you can see my iPhone 10 over here and you can see those faces uh, over there. So again, the quick thing is to remember, make sure the IP address is correct. Make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi connection. Your, phone, your iPhone needs to be on the same Wi-Fi connection as your desktop. Uh, let me see if I can switch to uh, my cinematic camera. And I think I need to turn off one of the characters and the cameras. So let's turn this that camera off, this one off that one and that one okay and let me also minimize the blueprint and now i can see the, the male character speaking over there and let me see if i can do a full screen okay uh, let's see, F11. And let me see if I can focus in right. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so now you can see the character, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry about that guys. You can see the quality of the character on the screen there. So I hope this was helpful guys and I uh, hope this uh, quick tutorial was uh, will help you get started. Please don't forget to subscribe, permit to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much for all my patrons and everybody else that is uh, sharing the videos and commenting. Guys, we are we are living in a different era right now because Meta Humans, I think it's gonna change the way for indie filmmakers as we're trying to, like if you want to quick, like put, put out a quick animatic or story or concept, or whatever, this is gonna make it so much easier because we can render in real time and get that kind of quality uh, for the different characters. So I'm sure this is going to be uh, like dynamic so that the characters lo don't look all the same. So it's going to take us uh, taking an artistic level whereby, yes, we all have the same tool, but now how creative can you be uh, as a storyteller? Because that's what's going to differentiate your ability to once you have this tool and millions of other people have it, it's very easy for all of us to be sharing the same thing if we are just taking it out like a cookie cutter thing but if we tap into our creativity i think that's where that's what's that's what's going to separate us as uh, indie filmmakers and storytellers so the tool isn't going to tell the story maybe ai maybe it will automate it at some point but for now it, the storyteller is still going to be key you know to differentiate yourself from everybody else so thank you so much for this uh for share, uh, joining me today and uh, i'll continue testing and uh, giving my feedback with you guys so please uh spare a minute again to subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you next time with another quick insight and tutorial much love and please stay safe dare to dream big and never give up on your dream guys much love peace out bye for now